Bitcoin and Ethereum are moving. Here are some higher price targets to look for. Today for the Bitcoin price with DaVinci J15, this is an emergency video. Bitcoin and Ethereum both are going up right now and the question everyone is asking right now of course is is this a fake out and Bitcoin and Ethereum will just straight get dumped back down just as they did previously here or is this Finally, the breakout we have been waiting for to a very specific price target we are going to reveal towards the end of the video. We are going to be talking about Bitcoin Ethereum, our trading setup, our game plan and also our price targets for these two coins in the immediate short term. In the last video, we made a small mistake. We will correct it, but the bottom line is still valid. Wait here until the end of the video. Guys, you smashed up the like button on the video we just published a few hours ago like crazy. Please scroll down, smash up the like button to at least four or five thousand likes that will give us the signal that you want more of these second updates of the day. So make sure you scroll down, you smash up the like button, you press subscribe, press the bell and press on all. And with that being said, I want to come to the most important question of today. Da Vinci J15, how are you doing today, my man? I'm doing good, man. We are living in interesting times, but the best interesting times in the history of mankind, because now we have access to all the information at our fingertips and i'm happy about that how are you doing in bangkok over there i'm doing very well very happy to make you this second video i think it's the first time that we are making two videos a day and um, i'm doing very well because of that one of the reason is of course you guys thank you so much for being such an amazing crypto family your comments your likes i mean it is completely priceless your support means so much to us and i mean da vinci has so many important things to do but he's here for the second time today he made another video on his channel the reason is only you guys so thank you so much for your continuous support and now da vinci thank you so much for being here the second time today let's jump right into the charts look at bitcoin look at ethereum and look exactly at what we are planning for these two assets in the immediate short term i will be also showing my trades here maybe towards the end of the video for everyone who is interested in that all right well uh let's bring up the charts and, and uh, as i said I've, I've i've said before we need to like you need to like if you're going to trade this upward moving market you have to look for w's right um and, and they're going to show up on first on the five minute then on the higher time frames right now it's on the hourly you can see there's an hourly w and i said that there was going to switch the hourly and there it was when, when we said when we were talking last night things were looking very very grim but i said hey you know what this thing could turn up and go higher and break out and what did it do? It created a nice little cute little W and here we are, we broke, little, we're breaking out. A little addition to that, I think you mentioned also on your live stream, in case we are breaking a daily candle, closing a daily candle above the 11,450 US dollar level uh, approximately, we are going higher. Zooming in here exactly at this, you can see we closed the candle above and we went significantly higher within the next year, one or two hourly candles here right now printing the next green candle thank you da vinci for this amazing signal but now of course everyone is asking is it already over what is your price target for bitcoin are you trading it towards the upside and what you are, are you expecting here yeah during my stream we were right around this area uh if i zoomed in i would have saw the dice if you, you could see there was like it was creating a bunch of nice w's to allow you to get in as well whenever whenever um bitcoin starts to pump um this is what you're looking for to help you jump, jump in, right? See how the W's here, they're, they're, they're clear. They're, they're pretty clear. They're pretty yes. obvious. They're, you won't you won't miss them. Yeah, sometimes you, you could buy the W and watch it uh, hold uh, hold on to it as it drops down a bit, right? And uh, and so long as you set your stops to to the last uh, the last lowest V, right? You can see here. There, yeah. and, and, and if you were to, to set your break, bought this breakout buy right here, and then set your stop over what which was at the, the uh, sorry the eleven thousand four hundred and forty seven dollars yeah and then you were to set your stop at the eleven thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars you would have it would not have come back and there you go you would have been uh, in profit yeah you would have probably uh if you did do something like that the best thing for you to do is of course move your stops should um at the very least um move your stop 
once we you're at uh, uh, you made uh, 100 percent which we should, let's just see here uh, i'm trying to do this why, without uh, while you're doing that i wanted to do uh, i wanted to tell um, everyone watching something because i'm sure it's a mis misconception for some people out there and just even if it's only 20 or 30 percent i wanted to do your service these uh, w patterns they happen many many times in bitcoin and one pre um, one requirement is very important if you see these w's then you have this one here and the second one the second dump here in the w it should be a higher low than the previous one only in this case it is a valid w if it is going lower if it is closing lower then this is not a w or like some kind of w we are looking out for even though it looks like a w how you know it it is not the trading wise the ta wise w we are um, looking out um, for for the trading so yeah da vinci i just wanted to put that out it's very important to that that the people know in case they don't know yet that we need a higher low here on the on the second part of the w that is absolutely correct a lot of people make that mistake they think that uh, if it v's down a little bit further down on the second v that that, that still counts as a w no it does not um, if it uh, if it lines up perfectly, you might be able to give it a little bit of a leeway. Maybe on a wick, you might give it a little bit of leeway. But uh, basically, you have to see um, price action not break. Uh, the best way, to, best up kind of W is when price action never breaks the, the previous uh, low. Exactly. So, with that being said, if you were to if you were trading this, you should have take started moving your stops obviously at this point or taking profits, partial profits at the eleven thousand. Uh, five hundred and thirty nine dollars from the breakout um, and um, I really don't think we're gonna come back here uh, is this possible um, at the eleven thousand um, four four hundred forty seven dollar level but uh, yeah uh, that's where we're going so now you could again you could still take because uh, if you take a look at my um, my uh, chart analysis there's a tool there right called the, the three musketeers and basically it just indicates that hey the market has serious strength and, and it could push high, higher um, because you know we're in a bull market this this is most likely going to be accurate this is not accurate 100 percent of the time but yes. accurate about six, less than 60 percent of the time these three musketeers so you have to take them with a grain of salt but uh, looking at that um considering that you can go down to the five minute and say okay well you know what uh, i'm going to look for a w on the five minute again and see if i could take that a little bit higher again you have to accept because this is also considered scalping you're going to have to accept losses on this mm -hmm. thing so make sure you make sure you do not bet the farm on any of these um, w's yes. that you see going higher all right you uh, make sure that you are always able to play the game again once again if if things go your go the wrong way Thank you so much for your wise words and I wanted to ask something Da Vinci. Um what is your price target? I mean, we are seeing this breakout right now and um, maybe not within the trading setup, but what would you think um, is the next area of severe resistance for Bitcoin? What do you think is the next mostly price target we can reach with Bitcoin? Because many, many people are asking me here right now on Telegram. Okay, so let's just take a look at uh, a, a, a larger time frame. And uh, I want, I'm trying to bring up the hourly, but it's not coming to me. So, okay, well, we'll just go to the uh, four hour. And what you can see here, uh, I'm going to get rid of some of the the, the, uh, the information here that we have. Uh, what you can see is there's a W here that uh, we can use, oh, sorry, we can use to figure out a target, a temporary target. I mean, it's not going to be like, oh, wait, it's, it's going to roll over. At that point doesn't count as a point where it uh, it will will turn around it does count as a point where hey you know oh. what you might want to take some profits you might want to um, uh, uh, set your stop losses um, um, to to break even so for example if you took this trade that I talked about in my um, in my video uh, whoops in my video today uh, I'm losing control of the screen Vinci, today there we go this, this price target is in perfect alignment with the one I have in my charts over there it's just beautiful and I used another measurement so thank you very much for this just just continue I, I just want to watch this it's perfect so what we could say is like around the twelve thousand dollar mark is uh, where this thing is a target where you'd want to like say okay you know what I'm gonna either take profits at that at that uh, point, or I'm going to um, uh, you know remove my move my stop losses up is what you should be doing in that at that point. 
Um, yeah. Where your stop losses should be moved to is all up to you. It might be at the 50% level um, between uh, $11,755, $50, $50, dollars, or you might want to move it to just the the, um, the $11,500 area, which I, I don't think we'll probably be yeah. coming back to before it actually tops out a little bit. I think it's going to go a little bit higher, maybe to the uh, actual $12,600 level before it tops out. Now, um, let's just take a look. Let's do an AB equals CD from the breakout from um, this point here. And look at that. Look at that. That's right where um, that's right where my uh, trade goes to. That's not a coincidence. Yes. That's a, that's where it wants to go. Twelve six hundred twelve thousand six hundred is is where you probably want to uh, take profits mm -hmm. and um, see re, re reassess the, the markets afterwards. Yeah amazing da vinci thank you so much for that as i have positions open two positions actually open at the exact moment i am very happy about these um, updates here um thank you so much for that maybe we are going into ethereum just as a quick uh, uh, question in the end in case we are knocking out the 12,600 level maybe after a re retracement once we hit it is the 15,000 us dollar valid um afterwards is still for you Yes, it is. It's just that we're, I don't think we're going to get there in a straight line. That's yeah, all. For sure not. I, for I sure think not. we have to get. We have to have some sort of pullback. Yeah. Don't be surprised if uh, we get we, we pull back all the way to to, to close the gap on yes. uh, on the CME uh, gap. So um, so consider that as a yeah. possibility. Not saying that it will happen. I'm just saying that it's a possibility, and it should it should you should uh, consider that in your trading yeah. um, plans. Oh, one, one thing I wanted to show just for everyone who is interested in it. Um, my trade here, as you can see it, guys, because I got some questions. I didn't do a video, a solo video since yesterday. So here is my update. You can see here my open position on Femex. You can see it's still the same one. The entry price at 9,400 US dollars uh, below the CME gap. I am not sure yet if I am going to go for a stop loss. Most probably I will, guys. It is recommended for you as a hedging um, instrument. But you can see here this trade right now at a 50,000 US dollar profit and I also opened another trade here just basically right now let me open this here and I traded another trend line breakout and as you can see here my buy-in was at 11,200 um, US dollars and the profit right now at 7,500 US dollars just as a quick transparency note for everyone who was interested here in my trading update um, yeah if you want to see more of that of course scroll down smash up the subscription button and also the bell also guys for everyone who is interested in also taking trades here on Bitcoin and Ethereum Ethereum, make sure you only do you you only do it if you're an experienced trader but also guys you know in our pin comment I negotiated the highest bonus on YouTube for you if you scroll down to the pin comment on Bybit, Femex and Dudex you find up to $502 completely for free after an initial deposit of 0.2 or 0.5 Bitcoin you get these bonuses you can take this bonus and accumulate it $502 at uh, 20x leverage equates to a 10,000 US dollar free trade completely for free you can withdraw these profits from the um, from the exchange but even though it is a free bonus only make it if you're an experienced trader since leverage um, trading can be risky if you are not if you don't know what you are doing but yes in the pin comment if you scroll down on top of the pin comment section you find these links and you can get these high bonuses completely for free and um, da vinci ethereum we talked about it before we talked about some kind of a midterm target here of 650 us dollars let's focus on the short term let's focus on where Bitcoin, uh, ethereum is likely to go here in the short term um, um, especially when it comes to your opinion here we are close to the 400 US dollar once again so please shed a little bit of light on that okay so what I was thinking about is uh, what, what target is this gonna make uh, is it possible to get up to this this level which is the um, 480 or 90 dollar level almost a 500 dollar level sure it is but um, the probability is is dropping really fast as we uh, continue on a, a non-stop slo high sloping um, like an 80 degree upward turn uh, of uh, uh, of this market, which is unsustainable, right? Um, in the long run, so uh, I really see that if Bitcoin starts to break out, it might drag uh, Ethereum a little, a little with it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we head up to this, this the, the the 442 dollar level before we see a turnaround and a dump back down. That would create um, 
some sort of divergence probably on the uh, on the, the lower time frames on the four hour time frame and um, yeah that would cause uh, uh, ethereum to uh, finally make a, a bigger correction um, down to probably around the three hundred dollar level or more um, looking at um, at the, the the daily time frame to figure out where uh, ethereum might come back and test this this upward trend line is like it's too steep for it to continue for very long um, but you know it can you think prices this this can go on for a very long time but uh, uh, it's not impossible it's just uh, the probability is going less and less likely so uh, where are the likely candidates for it to return to one well, most likely this this purple line which is the um, I do believe is the highest point from the break from the, mm. the last breakout that we had of uh, uh, of Ethereum, and so it could bounce off of that. But most likely, it would come back down to the red one, which is the lower level of this channel um, between the purple and the red, uh, is where it will come back to, which is around the three hundred dollar level. So don't be surprised if we check um, the three hundred dollar level, which happens to be approximately at. Um, 38.2. So um, uh, I, I, won't, I won't be so shocked at all. And uh, I think that's probably where you want to uh, load the boat on uh, Ethereum should it uh, come back there. Yeah. doesn't have to, of course. No guarantees from the management, but um, that's most likely what I see happening in the, in the next little while. Thank you very much for that. Of course, midterm still, we are looking out for these crazy price targets, but usually markets don't go up in a straight line it just uh yeah on the way up the markets tend to take um some money from the people invested of course it um, it has to leave people on the sidelines it has to wipe up some uh, wipe out some profits of weekends so always we um, expect these retracements this is the reason why we have been calling for ethereum all the way down from 240 us dollars from this breakout and yeah everyone who went in here with us has uh, some um has some um, yeah, money on the sidelines should have taken some profits here along the lines, maybe at 400 US dollars, and then whatever happens um, should be fine to us. Thank you, Da Vinci, for all of that. Um, thank you for coming back to the channel for the second time. We have still some very important things to talk about here. Um, you want to show us one document which I found very, very um, interesting. Another side note here in our previous video, we just made basically eight hours ago more than 30,000 views already. Thank you, guys. Um, we covered some. Uh, serious issues here about Google and we made a small little research mis mistake, mistake here however the bottom line is completely correct that we will provide proof and evidence for that but um, yeah we brought up one example with um, with the GDP decline maybe you shed some light on it and uh, then we take it forward with this uh, very interesting document where you have to share yeah well basically what we did was I, I did a search on negative three to uh, percent GDP and what uh, what I've mistaken was I did not know is that Google would take out that with a if you place a negative sign beside a word it will take out that word from every single search so when it finds when it finds a GDP in the document if it has a 32 percent in the document as well that's not concluded in the search so that's what the, that uh, that was all about however it doesn't mean that Google is not censoring, because if you see here, uh, I do a search on SGT report, one word, straight up easy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, this is what I get, and then yet if I uh, bring up uh, Bing, you can see I get a completely different search result. Exactly. For example, I get the website, mm -hmm. I get the. Uh, all the videos and so forth one person commented you owe google an, an apology well we could say sorry but no sorry because the one argument maybe was not the best but however the bottom line is still perfectly fine and with the sgt report you can see that there are some um, yeah whatever shadow banning censorship or um, yeah some search results are hidden from you especially those they don't want you to see so this remains completely valid here um, 
Um, but yeah, with the minus 32%, um, that is just something we, um, we, we didn't have in mind. So we want to correct that uh, just to make sure that everything is correct on this channel, right? So Da Vinci, thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, now let's go into the next topic here. And um, yeah, maybe you can show us this, this uh, special, special report here and explain us a little bit about that before we wrap it up for today. Yeah, well, I've been talking about how we will be doing uh, trading for people. It's, got, it's going to be called DC Trading uh, Investments. Uh, and uh, I'm already doing it with uh, friends and family members. Um, of course, it's not uh, completely uh, legalized yet, so I can't offer it to the public. Sorry, I'm real sorry. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be least. It's got to be through through the government. Uh, we have to go through that because you know how they are, right? <laughs> and so we will be trying to get to, and we might not even be able to do Americans as well. So I'm so sorry, but we will try our best um, to to get include as many people as possible uh, to allow them to invest with uh, DC uh, trading investments. But uh, we're going to first offer it to um, our, our Pen My Pandora's Wallet subscribers. We're going to see how it goes with them, if they have any complaints, issues, and then we're going to make adjustments and then over, open it up to the public. So there will be no extra cost for that. Um, it, it's just it's going to be totally free. Um, there will be withdrawal costs only. So, for example, if you deposit money and you will ask for a withdrawal, there's just gonna we're just gonna charge you a percentage um, of how how much you've made uh, through um, throughout this uh, through throughout your investment portfolio. You yep. see, this is an example of a portfolio. Maybe not exactly how we're going to present it to you, but this is an example of what we're doing right now. Yep. Very, very interesting to see. We can see here 60% portfolio returns, whilst the price made maybe like a 25, 30%. So you definitely uh, beat the index here, which is a very interesting thing to see and which is actually what it comes down to. Of course, we know Bitcoin was profitable, so you have to beat the index um, to, to, be, um, to be interesting. And this is exactly what you did. Thank you so much for that, Da Vinci. Thank you, Da Vinci, for coming back to the channel the second time of today. I mean, we got 4,000 likes in the first one, or maybe Maybe 3.5 maybe we get 5,000 here this is like eight nine thousand likes in one day I mean we have been dreaming about that now it's coming true it's crazy to have such a huge crypto family backing us up guys and um, let's go through this crazy bull market together it's very nice to have you here and um, before I'm wrapping it up for today Da Vinci maybe do you have any um, last words to share yeah, always play from a position of strength and don't get wrecked. Do not get wrecked, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you other very soon in the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, click the subscription box right here and also click the Bible tutorial, which is popping up right there. And with that being said, as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.